What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice and I want to come at you another video. Antonio Brown, man. Antonio Brown. To think at one point, you know, I actually want this guy on the Eagles, man. I know a lot of Eagle fans want this guy. But, you know, this all season with the whole stuff going on with him, you know, I, you know, I made a couple of videos telling you guys that I didn't want him. You know, but a year ago, this was definitely a guy who I would have loved to have seen on the Eagles, man. But uh, what I got to say now, man, is thank freaking God the Eagles did not trade for Antonio Brown. There were reports out there that the Eagles were definitely one of the teams who were interested in Antonio Brown. Of course, when, when, when those reports were going on, I made the videos about that. But now, I can't be any happier now that none of that happened, man. You know, the, the Buffalo Bills initially had a trade in place for Antonio Brown. But then Antonio Brown, of course, you know, being the drama queen that he is, being the diva that he is, was able to get the get that trade, you know, canceled. And, of course, as we all know, he got traded to the um, Oakland Raiders, you know. The Steelers didn't get, they didn't really get their money's worth for him, but I don't blame the Steelers for letting him go, man, because that, that, that guy, man, is a freaking cancer. He's a he's a he's a cancerous prima donna. I, I said the same thing about Le'Veon Bell, and I still feel the same way about Le'Veon Bell. Thank God the Eagles avoided both of them, Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I don't care how much talent a player has, man. If they're gonna if they're gonna be divas, they're gonna be locker room cancers. You don't need that crap. These divas do not win championships. Put it that way. That's no. That's why I was kind of. Somewhat, you know, um, concerned about bringing Deshaun Jackson back, but Deshaun Jackson so far has, has been saying everything that I want to hear. You know, he sounds like he's matured as a player and cross our fingers that he stays that way. But, um, back to Antonio Brown, man, just the way, the way he's been talking these past couple of days, the, di the disrespect that he's shown to this kid, Juju Schuster, um, it's just, it's just, it just shows you the guy's maturity. You're way too goddamn old for this, man. You're 31 years old. The whole gold mustache, all that crap, man. You're 31 years old, man. It's time to grow the hell up. It really is time to grow the hell up, Antonio Brown. You know, Ju you know, Juju Smith is, you know, has said nothing but great things about Antonio Brown. He stayed out of the whole drama with him, and, you know, and in, in the Steelers' uh, front office. But no, Juju you know, Schuster, you know, he's been a uh, you know, he's been classy the whole way, man. But then you got Antonio Brown throwing shade at him on Twitter and stuff. You know, this guy, this guy obviously tweet. You know, this guy, this guy has obviously let the damn fame and, you know, success and money go to his head. And, you know, he was a late round pick. He was a sixth round draft pick. He obviously had a chip on his shoulder and he played with a chip on his shoulder. But the moment he got that success, you know, when he got that money, that fame, then he started acting out being a diva. And just a complete mess of Pittsburgh. And the Steelers, you know, they had him. They had Le'Veon Bell. And how many championships did the Steelers have to show for it? Zero. Absolutely nada. Like I said, those type of players who are all about themselves, don't care about the team whatsoever, man, those guys do not win championships. And the Steelers, the best thing, the best thing they did for their organization was to trade Antonio Brown. I don't care how much talent the player got, man. When you got divas like that, you need to get them out of your locker room because they're gonna they're gonna you know wear on other players, man. It's it's gonna become a problem for your entire team. So I still say I said, man, the best decision the Steelers organization did was trade Antonio Brown. Now he is the Oakland Raiders problem. He's the Oakland Raiders problem. And former Raiders coach Jack Del Rio has said, man, that he sees him being a major pain in the ass for the Raiders and John Gruden. You know, the guy, the guy man, you know, bitch, you complain about money. <clears throat> then he said it wasn't about money, which we all know it was. And, you know, he, he becomes jealous of Juju Schuster-Smith because Juju Schuster-Smith was obviously developing very, very well, coming along very well. And now Juju is going to be the number one receiver in Pittsburgh, obviously. So Antonio Brown is all about himself, man. That's what I'm trying to say. The guy is all about himself. He's all about his numbers. He's all about, you know, you know money and uh, his numbers. You know, he's one of those guys that, you know, he puts the, he puts himself before the team at all costs. You know, he's he's all about he's he's all about his ego, his enormous ego, 
which which I'm so happy that we don't have that in our receivers, man. Alshon Jeffrey does not give a damn what his numbers look like. As long as the team is winning, Alshon Jeffrey does not care. And those are the type of players that I want on my team. Team guys, man, guys who who care about the team. As long as the team is winning, they're happy. Antonio Brown, you know, he you know he says he wants to win, which I still find. Uh, which I I believe it. I believe he does want to win, but it's all it's also about his numbers. He got to have the biggest numbers, the flashiest numbers, and then the team win. He want the team to fly. They have to de- that they have to depend on him. That's uh, that's another thing. Like I'm saying, it, it fuels his ego. If you know, if, it definitely fuels his ego. So um, you know, I, I'm I'm glad we don't have that crap in our locker room, man. I don't want that prima donna diva crap. Those locker room cancers do not bring championships to your roster to your team. I want I want t- I want players in our locker room who are for the team, who support one another, don't tear one another down like Antonio Brown is doing with his former teammate Juju, his now former teammate Juju Schuster. And dude, it's time to move the hell on. You got what you wanted. You wanted out of Pittsburgh. You were you were bad mouthing the hell out of Pittsburgh Steelers throughout the offseason. They gave you what the hell you want, which was to get out of Pittsburgh. So what are you still why are you still worried about them? Why are you still bitching about the Steelers? You're a Raider now. Worry about the Raider. This is like a guy who claims to be over his ex-girlfriend, but he can't help but still talk about her. And that's what Antonio Brown is doing. He's still talking about his ex, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Move the hell on, Antonio Brown. You got what you wanted. That was out of Pittsburgh. You're out of Pittsburgh. Shut the hell up. Go out there and play football. You are now a member of the Oakland Raiders. Like I said, man, thank the Lord, thank the freak, thank the Lord up above that the Eagles did not get um, Antonio Brown or Le'Veon Bell, because I know there was you know a couple people, a couple YouTubers who wanted you no know, Le'Veon Bell, who were so adamant that the Eagles were gonna get Le'Veon Bell. I am, I, I thank God, I thank God that we did not mess with that crap. That's another player who is all about himself. Who's all about you know? Who was all about trying to get the biggest payday he possibly could, and I'm not I'm not knocking somebody for getting the biggest payday they could they could, but I am knocking him for you know, you know just just the whole antics of um only caring about himself you know that that's all he cared about was himself. So good riddance. Thank the Lord that neither one of those players ended up in a um, Eagles uniform you know because that I, that definitely would have been a big problem for our locker room had either one of these guys came to our team. And I know that might be that might be unpopular with some people, but I think the majority of people will agree with me, man. That not not giving up, no, not trading for either Brown or Le'Veon Bell. That obviously would have put us in the cap hell. That would have been a huge cap hit anyway. But I think most people would agree with me, man. That you no know, avoiding both of those two toxic cancers was great for our team, man. It definitely was. And um, like I said. Le'Veon Bell is a New York Jets problem. I don't see the Jets doing a damn thing next year regardless. Uh, the Patriots still own that damn division. Um, Antonio Brown is the Oakland Raiders problem. I don't see the Raiders doing a damn thing either. That that, that division belongs to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, and the uh, the Chargers are, are a, um, a, 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 a slightly distant second. Um, Dem- Denver, I think Denver is the third best team in that division. And the Raiders are the worst team in that division. And I don't think that's going to change in 2019. Antonio Brown, good luck with um, Derek Carr throwing you the football. You don't have you don't have Ben Roethlisberger throwing you the football anymore. So good luck with Derek Carr as your quarterback. And you might get your numbers. You might get your numbers. But you're going to get a lot of L's as well. Because I don't see the Raiders doing much of anything next year. Or the year after that either. So you got what you wanted. Adios. I think I think next year he's gonna fade the hell off. I think I think Juju Schuster is going to excel and thrive in Pittsburgh. The Pittsburgh Steelers are great at developing wide receivers. That's something they're very very good at, man. You know you got you got Heinz Ward, you got Mike Wallace who was great with with the Steelers. You got um obviously you have you have you have Holmes over there. You have Antonio Holmes over there. You, of course you get of course Antonio Brown, Juju. You know. That's one thing they're very good at. Martavius Bryant, you know, that's one thing they're very good at is developing wide receivers, man. But um, I, I can't can't forget Emmanuel Sanders either. But a lot of those receivers, man, they don't they when they leave Pittsburgh, man, their numbers really drop. Especially like um, um, uh, Mike Wallace, man. He, like he 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 fade away 
as soon as that when he left Pittsburgh, man, he faded away. And the Eagles unfortunately had that had that guy on their roster last year. But what I'm trying to say, man, is that I, I expect Antonio Brown to uh, in, in the next year or two fade away. I think the Steelers are going to be just fine with Juju Schuster as, as their number one receiver. And, you know, um, Antonio Brown, just, you know, his ego, you know, his ego has become inflated by the success that he's had, the money that he's made in his career, man. You know, a great talent, man, but an absolute cancer, diva, diva prima donna. And thank God the Eagles avoided that cancer. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out of here. Spunky Nights 91 is out. Peace.